100 rated chess. But you are a 100 rated player. You can only capture with the woman. If she is captured, the video ends. You know, these days I have been taking on so many difficult impossible challenges. So I thought that today we'll change the vibe a little bit and ultimately chose this easier one. Absolutely easy. It cannot get any easier than this. This is not even a walk in the park. The park actually stands up and walks around by itself. There is physically no way I can lose this one. Let's go. We get a 181 from the UK. A queen related challenge against a British. Totally worth it. E4. Oh wait I forgot about the London system. My bad. Knight c6. D4. The only way I can lose this challenge is by losing my queen. But since it's not like I'm gonna lose my queen to my 100 rated opponent. Therefore this challenge was bound to be a success from the very beginning. There is physically no other result that can happen out of this. Knight takes d4. Aha. The challenge only allows me to capture with queen. And coincidentally enough. Now I can capture with queen. Knight f6. That wasted a move, I can force him to go back. There are four squares to go forward, three of them are controlled by my queen, knight h5 seems safe at first, but then I have g4 completely trapping his knight. Therefore his only choice is to move the knight back to g8, or I guess he can also counterattack on my queen, but that is a story for another day. Knight g8. Well, since nothing I have can be valuable as none of them can capture, I'll use them for intimidation. Opening up the queen can be a little bit scary, but since he is currently being down a piece, I mean he should be able to see, that trading queens only benefits the player having the material advantage. Right? Of course he knows it. Bishop d3. My bishop cannot capture. But he can definitely support my queen. Knight f6. Queen h4. He weakened his king side. Of course I'll attack it. Knight d5. I'll give a check first. g6. Aha. That blunders bishop g6 h g6 queen g6 checkmate in 2. But unfortunately my bishop cannot capture his g-pawn. Very unfortunate. But luckily enough. I think I found a great idea. Queen takes g6 check. An absolutely brilliant move. And even though h takes g6 now ends the video. I mean he should be able to see. That h takes g6 is blundering the king to bishop takes g6 checkmate in 1. Right? Okay only after the game I realized that h takes g6 was actually the only legal move of the position, so I literally forced my opponent to end my own video. In my defense I recorded this at midnight and I wasn't very awake at the time. Absolute humiliation, the challenge is failed, we'll get them next time.